Hello and welcome to Serenity Garden Orchids. And today I'm just giving you a quick update of the things that are in bloom in my various gardens. This is the triangle right out in front of my house. And you can see the rose bushes coming up great. And my tulips, guys, I'm in love, I'm in love. They are so beautiful. It's looking good. And I told you that I might plant a hydrangea or put a hydrangea in the back. And I did. Just got to get another pot for it because I don't like that pot. It's just, you know, not going to work. Okay, and moving on to the right in front of the house. And you guys saw me clean this out earlier when I was cutting those purple flowers down. Well, look, guys, she's come a long way. You see the purple flowers in the back. My irises are coming up nice, and I have tulips. My hydrangea coming in nice. Everything's well, and everything's the planner that I made, guys. My hostess coming up, and you see I have work to do. I have to put something in those little hanging pots. That's some dianthus in the one on the right. Just my azalea bush, and it's going to be beautiful. You can see the buds, it's red. Yes. Moving on. Look at those little purple flowers that I cleaned out in the back. Aren't they gorgeous? This is my autumn sage. And back there, I don't know the name of that plant. It looks grassy-like. It gets big purple flowers up. And here's my lemon lime hydrangea. It's a planter. My hydrangeas. More tulips. Aren't they gorgeous, guys? I'm so proud of them. Just some more irises. And back there, back here, moving in. That's where I planted my bleeding heart. So it looks like it's gonna be fine. I'm excited about that. Okay, and let's just move on. So have you walk with me for a bit and I'll show you some more blooms. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yes. That's just the front of the garage. I'm moving on around to the side of the house. Okay. And you guys remember, my hostels are coming up. Just the little lupines. My, um, oh God, I'm forgetting the name. They call it the ice flower, rucola. I have some pansies in that pot there. My beautiful yellow rose bush, but that's hookula. And then that's the, I don't believe, I can't remember the name of that, Dusty Miller. Dusty Miller, guys. Hukula, Dusty Miller, back there, that's Estilby, Estilby, I guess that's the name of it, Estabil, Estilby, some more Hukula, in this pot, I have something coming up nice, that's my Creeping Jenny, and those flowers in the back is here, these get beautiful purple flowers, and I have a hydrangea in there also. And you can see how my creeping Jenny is on the ground now. It's going nice. Those are big, beautiful yellow flowers right here. You'll see them when they bloom. And here's a daisy. Moving on down another hookah and my lupine. And there's my horses coming up. And I have another pot of violas. Okay. On this side, there's my butterfly bush. Some lilies in the bread and a hibiscus. That is a rhododendron. It usually is beautiful, but it's having a hard time. This weather changing up so much. I'm hoping that she'll bloom pretty. It's my rose bush. Some autumn sage down there. Autumn sage. Autumn sedum down there. This host is coming up. More host is coming up. Some lilies back there in that pot. It's a boxwood. Those are those yellow flowers again. They're going to be gorgeous, guys. You'll see them. This is my hydrangea. I think she's going to be fine. She's huge. Moving on. Okay, by the chair, there's some more daisies. Okay, and in the pot, looks like more lilies. Hosta. This huge plant here. It's a wigelda. And she's actually very beautiful. I think she's a wiggy. Yeah, I think she's a wigelda. Okay, lilies. Okay, back over here, I have some um, lilies growing up, and I got to move all this wildflower from back there. You can't really see. 
I have a hibiscus back there. And those are those yellow flowers, which are going to be gorgeous, guys. Hosta, hosta, hosta. You can see I got plenty of hostas. The peony coming up. More hostas. It's a hydrangea back there. Guys, it's going to be beautiful. This is my Forsythia. For science, I call it Forsythia. Okay, and this gets big, beautiful white flowers on it, guys. Long stem comes out, and she gets big, beautiful flowers. I don't know what her name is, but moving on around. Here's my little area, and things are coming up nice here. Okay, there's my Puckster and my Hostas. In the back there, guys, I got to clean up, but let's walk over there anyway. It's a mess. Mama got to clean those are the lilies. There is a hydrangea there. And next to it is a azalea bush. Okay. Moving on past the chair is a rose bush. Okay. I'm trying to walk and talk at the same time. Okay. Here's my firelight hydrangea in the, in the pot. There's a big white rose there. Right behind that chair is a big white rose. Down below. Right next to that pot, that's Pinstamon in there. I don't know what's in the pot, but behind the pot is Pinstamon. Okay, and moving on along. I don't know what some of this stuff is. Those are those pretty yellow flowers in there. Um, it's a hosta daisies. This is Rosa Sharon. It should come back nice. Rosa Sharon. That's on daisies. And a peony. Okay, those are irises. And guys, I have so many strawberries in there. Strawberries galore, if you can see them. Okay, moving around. It's my daffodil, my arborvitae. Daffodils moving out. That's my lemon lime hydrangea and some couple of other items. I put some phlox and some creeping jenny in the pot with it. And that's another lemon lime with the phlox and the creeping me Jenny. Look at my tulips. Aren't they gorgeous? They're coming up so nice. And this is my arborvitae. Okay, moving on. Here are some more tulips coming up. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh my god, I'm loving them. Those are rose bushes. Another rose bush. And more tulips. Okay, I think that's gorgeous, guys. Look, so pretty. Okay, over here. This is under my clothesline. I have tulips coming up nicely. Aren't they pretty, guys? Those are my tulips. Moving on. This is right as you go into my patio. Look. Pretty, pretty, pretty. More tulips. More tulips. Four jars. And more tulips. Going around the side of the house. Okay, look, isn't it gorgeous, guys? My tulips, daffodils, more wildflowers, violets, more tulips, more tulips. <clears throat> I should take you to the back. Those are peony back there. There's a rose bush, apricot rose bush, and another rose bush back there. Guys, you'll get to see all of this as it starts to bloom. There's an azalea, and back of that is a hydrangea. More tulips. Okay. This is my sage. It's coming back nice. Okay. There's a little pinstamon in there. I really got to clean up, guys. Those are yellow flowers in the back. Can't see them yet. And some beautiful tulips coming up. Gorgeous. The hostas. In front of the hostas is a peony bush. See the peony? Beautiful. Everything's coming up nicely. Those are stuff that boiled it out. Some cabbage and stuff that I had in pots. I'm going to move that soon. But there's a peony. I'm moving over. You see a hosta. Those are daffodils. We got some crocuses. There are more tulips. They're gorgeous. Aren't they pretty? And in here, you see my, my hookah? Beautiful around that plant and more hookah in the back i have some tulips and there's a big azalea bush here is a rose of sharon she gets beautiful pink flowers 
Okay, and moving over. There is my, I want to say lavender. That's not lavender. I'm looking at it. Oh, I can't remember the names of stuff today. But it is absolutely beautiful. It's in bloom. It's in full bloom. And it is gorgeous. Lilac. I knew it would come to me. That's my lilac bush. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Okay. I'm moving along. I'm going to show you guys what I have. That's hibiscus. And on the side of that, right here, that's Estabil. It's still be another hibiscus. It's a huge, huge, huge azalea bush. Okay. There's another peony. There's a peony there. Okay. And that's another hibiscus. And guys, when this place is in bloom, that's Rosa Sharon. So Rosa Sharon tree and more Rosa Sharon. But guys, when this stuff is in bloom, it is some kind of pretty but that is all for now and as i always say your best to be a blessing make it a beautiful day bye now